are the location module and, and GMAP module um, before we go ahead. So if you, if you don't really need to use those, um, you can just follow, you can follow along or not. Anyway, um, so basically we're going to um, go and type in location. You can read what location is. Obviously links are going to be in the description for where you can get the quick access to these. Um, and I'm going to just install my module a different way. I'm going to copy link location and I'm going to go to my here, I'm going to modules, install new module. I can paste in my URL and I can hit install. And while that's happening, I'm going to do the same thing for the GMAP module. So it's preparing to install, install, install another module. Uh, not from there, just from there. Yeah. There, install. And when you do install um, from the little installer, um, you will see that those new modules will come up in um, the site's all modules. So again, using the best practices. Um, so we want to enable the newly added modules. Okay, so now we have we roll on down to our modules page, and I want to enable GMAP GMAP location macro builder. No, don't need that right now. Style balls, mm, don't really need that at the moment, <coughs> but definitely location. Location plus adds a find address button to all locations. Okay, whatever. Add another location. No, not really. Location email. No. Um, location entity. Yes. Um, location fax. No. Location phone. No. Location search. Yes, I do. Because um, that's going into the search locations. Um, location taxonomy. Associate locations with um, taxonomy terms, and that's categorization, and that's really good. Um, just a quick example of that is on you know on realestate.com.au. You go like this. Categorizations. This is a category for all intents and purposes. And then they're using this, then they're using that to search from. So <clears throat> by enabling that, um, we get a bit we get a bit of a help. Node locations um, associate locations with nodes. Um, yep. <clears throat> and uh, user locations. Mm, no. With users. Well, maybe for agents. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it off for the moment. Anyway, I'm just gonna save those. Okay, now that we have have saved that, we can just go into configure the locations and default um, settings here is United States, but um, I'm in Australia, so I'm going to use Australia. You know, there's there's some um, there's there's a lot of information here that you can can open up new you know open link in new windows you can hide link locations stuff like that but I'm going to save that that's Australia um, map links um, you know Google Maps Australia yeah you want to use Google Maps or Yahoo or MapQuest I don't know there's a lot of options in here um, so we're I just want to go down to the <coughs> geocoding um, options and I want to be able to get you know it's checking um, the accuracy level for um, Australia so I'm, I'm finding Australia yep I'm gonna go Google Maps and I'm going to select town city it down to the street level I'm gonna whip on down to here let me hit save configuration Location utilities, clear poverty case. You don't, know, you don't really, don't really need to do that. It's just k, it's just um, cache. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so now I can now go back to my content type. Also, uh, you got to configure GMAP module. 
Um, now, <coughs> because we're using um, GMAP's API, um, we're going to need an API key. Um, so basically on the Drupal website, it kind of does tell you, or if you're in the configuration page, it does show you how to get these um, API keys. So I'm just right, right here, um, and I'm going down to here, I'm going to set up this uh, I'm going to set up my and get my API from the development console. console. Alright, I've got my my key here. Pasting it in. Rolling on down. Save. don't actually need one. Oh well. Okay. Um, and then on on the settings down here, you can actually change a lot of things that happen. Um, but right now, um, you know, right now we're just kind of setting the the default zoom, height and width, default center. When you change these, it, it does um, change the center of the thing. Default zoom. Um, and all of these right now at the moment, um, we are just going to use um, use the defaults. I think. Um, for now, and then um, we can show pan control. We can hide that. You know, show street view control. We can hide that too. It doesn't really matter. Um, standard street map, or what do we want to have? We want to have the satellite. You know, basically all the things that um, mm. you can configure um, with Google Maps. <sighs> we roll on down here, um, and then you can kind of change the uh, the flag. You know what happens to the flags, but we'll be going over that uh, a little bit later. Um, it actually customizing those pop-ups. Um, so marker action. We, you know, all I've ticked was um, instead of open link, I've got open information window. Um, and then the rest, I'm I'm going to I'm going to just kind of leave it as default um, for the moment. Um, but marker settings. This is where you would. Uh, you would get into the actual little cool little images and stuff like that but we're gonna worry about that a little later and now that that's saved and we're ready to go um, now I'm good to add my um, locations to my content type so I'm going back into property and I'm going to manage fields and what I want to do is an existing field or add a select field and I'm going to add um, a field and that is going to be location and because I have an entity it's already attached for me so generally um, now that we have our, our location in there um, we have to go into the content um, structure and go to content types and we want to go back to this bah, I did the wrong thing um, basically, um, I want location CCK, and I want to turn off location entity because I don't actually want um, that functionality um, the way that it is working. So I'm just going to um, save those out. So once those are saved, and those locations, get rid of them. Okay, so, sorry for that mistake. Anyway, we're going to go to um, Structure, Content Types, Property, and now we see that that's not in there, and that was because of the node location module, and we don't actually want that. So I want to have Manage Fields, and now when I go here, I'm going back to my Content Type, and I'm going to add um, my own location, um, so I'm just going to use property location and I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit location and it's going to be a location field and I'm going to hit save <coughs> now location name I don't want to collect street name um, allow additional allow city allow state and province I'm going to um, I'm going to allow um, and I want it as a drop down. Postal codes I'm going to allow. Country, 
I'm going to force default Australia coordinate chooser I'm going to require and um, there's some more stuff here um, that we can um, and we can actually choose the default marker of uh, this one and I'm just going to hit Drupal because it's funny <coughs> property location um, required field. I want it to have a required field the location uh, there we are location number values one coordinate chooser yep all that's fine all right when I go back to my home here and I go to test property I'm going to edit I want to roll on down until I can see this property um, location center settings now there's this um, longitude and latitude here and there's um, a province um, select but we want to make it easier basically we want to you know provide a Google map here that you can just go and drop and then it'll add these things so uh, let's do that so I'm going back into the um, configuration settings of location and we'll roll on down hit um, use a Google map to set lot longitude and latitude yep and I'm going to just tick that and I'm going to save that and now when I go to my this one I'm going to roll on down and I'll have a um, you know alright so I've gone back and I've grabbed an address there we go so it's plotting plotting it plotted uh, the map coordinates on there longitude and latitude right and now we're just going to save this Okay, so now we hit. Now we have property location there, and then we have this this um you know coordinates, and we have a C maps link. And now I don't want any. I don't want that. So what we're gonna have to do is go back to our content types, um, property manage um, display. Yep, manage fields. Property location, edit. And we're going to hide hide fields from display coordinates, map name, save. Okay. And now we're just going to go back and have a look. So it just has property location, and then it has the um, that obviously maybe not Australia. You don't really need the country there. So we'll go back to there, and we'll go to edit. Um, country name. Nope. Australia. <coughs> now, you know, now that we have this property location um, and the location model installed, um, we do have a new little link that has that gives us this map um, that pl plots our nodes, our nodes um, on the um, on the map. So, you know, it make it easier for you know people to go in and check out where these properties are stuff like that, any any properties that you have listed in the area. Um, however, we you know, keeping the keeping it going, we don't want people to see this. Um, but, you know, we, we're gonna basically provide we're gonna have to change this um, so that they pop up in a new window um, or open up the, the property location or you know just get rid of this all you know all together. <coughs> um, so now um, yeah, but we'll, we're going to do that a little bit later. Anyway, so we have this test property, and um, you know, if we're if we're looking at <coughs> at this, it's actually the title. Uh, I think it's the probably the title of this. Now, um, we can override 
oops, we can override our theme title um, if we wanted to. And so we're just instead of that coming up, it could be somewhere else, or it could be the actual address. Um, and we can do that with a module called tokens and auto node titles, or we can um, do some other things. But um, what what we're going to cover in our next tutorial is an introduction to theming, um, how to make this site as custom, you know, you know the custom look to the site, and then we're going to get into actual content type theming um, and individual, you know, node theming, and uh, that's uh, what we're going to do next.